Okay, I just finished watching the film that had Lou Ferrigno, Royce Gracie, Eve Torres, Roy Nelson, and Tony Silva. Probably thinking, what movie is going to have that many different mixed martial arts professional wrestlers and professional bodybuilders? Scorpion King 4, the, the, the quest for power. Yes, this is the third sequel of the spin-off from the first time The Rock was in a major film. Of course, The Rock was a Scorpion King. Rock hasn't been in a Scorpion King movie since the first one. But this franchise continues to go on. This time, it is about the quest for power. Scorpion King is a mercenary who is sent off to find an urn. The urn will eventually lead them to a object of supreme mystical power. <clears throat> Along the way, there are multiple betrayals. And I think this film tried very, very hard to be a comedy. So you do a lot in the way of, like slapstick humor. Whether it's like, oh no, we're running after people. It's, it's, my, it's the male lead, the female lead. I wonder if they'll fall on top of each other. Several times. Yep. Oh, look, her father's an inventor. He's weird and kooky. Alright. He made a suit of feathers to try to fly with the catapult. Oh, man. What if this will make its way farther along in the movie? Yeah. So, it, 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 it's hard to figure out... Oh, I had Rudger Hauer as well. It's hard to figure out what this film is trying to do. Being a director to DVD makes me think that this is pretty much uh, like sci-fi level of, uh, of acting and special effects. And it is. So you've got poor special effects. The, the action is adequate. It tries to do comedy that is poor. Overall, this film is kind of a not watch. The fight scene with Eve Torres has inside a cage is actually pretty good. Beyond that, this film is, is pretty much a skip, because you couldn't figure out by the fact that Scorpion King 4 